is a short tutorial that will answer some of the questions on the application process and help you take your next steps. So now, how do you apply? As a community college, we have open enrollment. This means that anyone can attend and become a student. The short application that follows this tutorial will ask you questions regarding your residency, ethnicity, veteran status, and general information. It's important that you complete all questions on this application so that we have a full picture of the students we are serving. Answering these questions benefits students as it provides us with the ability to know who you are, better meet your needs, and apply for additional college funding. This application creates your Student Wolf Web account, which is where you will do everything from updating your personal information to registering for classes and adding, dropping, or withdrawing from classes. You will also use your Wolf Web account for checking your financial aid status, paying your tuition and fees, viewing or printing unofficial transcripts, checking grades, and creating degree audits. So what's the deal with degree intent? Well, in addition to personal information, selecting your degree intent is critical to your success as a student. It provides you with a clear path to meet your educational goals at BMCC. Also, if you've applied for financial aid, you must declare a certificate or degree intent in order to receive federal and state financial assistance. Your degree intent is the degree you're planning on working towards at BMCC. Once you make this selection, this information will be loaded into our system and will be used to pair you with an advisor in your area of interest. While you may change your degree intent at any time, it is important that you discuss this with your advisor during your advising session. If you are unsure of the degree you wish to pursue, make sure you discuss it during your initial advising session. FERPA. What does FERPA mean? As a student at BMCC, every single person is covered by the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, also referred to as FERPA. Even if you've only taken a food handler's class at BMCC, you're considered a student and your records are protected under FERPA. FERPA provides complete anonymity as a student. FERPA allows colleges to share directory information without a student's permission. What is directory information? Your directory information includes your name, address, phone number, field of study, class level, dates of attendance, and degrees. If you do not want us to share this information, you may choose to place a directory exemption on your student records. To do this, you would update your personal information page in the Student Wolf Web by checking No on the directory exemption question. Please be aware, if you choose to have a directory exemption placed on your student account, BMCC staff and faculty will not be able to assist you in any way over the phone, and you would be required to go to a BMCC campus with valid government-issued picture ID for all student services, including advising. In addition, you will not be able to be listed in the President's List, Dean's List, or Honor Roll. The Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA, is your opportunity to apply for federal educational grants, loans, and work study, as well as state assistance. By completing the FAFSA, you are simply seeking eligibility. You are not committing to any loans. You should complete the FAFSA as soon after January 1st as possible. You must reapply each year in order to be considered. You have the opportunity to list multiple school codes on your FAFSA. The school code enables the application information to be electronically transferred to the schools you are considering attending. Make sure you indicate BMCC's school code 003186 on your FAFSA. What do you need to file your FAFSA? You'll need copies of your and your parents' tax information from the previous year to complete some of the questions on the application. If you've not filed taxes, you have the option of checking the box to say you will file and estimate income amounts based on the previous year's information or indicate that you or your parents will not file. If you will not file, 
you may need to use either your W-2s or a printout of your wage history that you can get from your local employment office. Once you submit your FAFSA, it can take up to two weeks for your information to be processed and received by BMCC's Office of Financial Assistance. You may be required to submit additional information, such as copies of your federal tax forms or a wage history report. BMCC will contact you by email or the U.S. Postal Service if additional documents are required. Be sure to keep your contact information current and check your BMCC email and WolfWeb accounts regularly to monitor the status of your financial aid file. The most common reason for delays in awarding of financial assistance is that students do not follow through on requests for additional documentation in a timely manner. Make sure you read all mail from BMCC carefully and follow directions. In addition to grants, loans, and federal work study, you may also apply for scholarships and veterans may apply for veterans benefits. BMCC provides a list of scholarships and more information about veterans benefits on our website under the Students tab. Click the Scholarships link near the center of the page to see a list of available scholarships. Additionally, there are a lot of resources for scholarship opportunities in your community, such as civic organizations, clubs, or your, or your parents, employers. Why do you need to take a placement assessment? As a new student at BMCC, you will be required to take Compass placement assessments in math, reading, and writing. This is not a pass-fail test. This is merely a placement assessment to help you choose classes that are appropriate to your skill level. Where can you take your placement assessments? You can take them at most community colleges and universities throughout the nation. You will usually have to pay a fee to take the placement assessments. BMCC charges $10. If you take them at a different institution, you will need to make sure the test scores are compatible with Compass scores by contacting our Testing and Advising Center at 541-278-5931. And when should you take your placement assessments? As soon as possible. You need to get this done early before you see your advisor. Please make sure that when you go to test, you take a valid copy of a government-issued ID if you want to prepare for the assessment, please contact our Testing and Advising Center for practice sites that you can find on the web. What's next? Advising. BMCC has mandatory advising, which means that you are required to meet with an academic advisor every term before you can register for classes. As a new student to BMCC, you can schedule your initial advising appointment at the same time as you take your placement assessments. If you are completing your placement assessments at a different college and having the results sent to BMCC, you will need to contact our Testing and Advising Center to schedule an appointment. You can meet with an advisor for a face-to-face -face appointment at any of our BMCC locations. For students who are not able to visit one of our locations and who do not have a director exemption on their student account, we offer phone advising by appointment only. Please contact the location closest to you to schedule your advising appointment. So when should you schedule an advising appointment? You will need to check the academic calendar located on our website for advising dates. Click Calendar under the Quick Access To menu on the right hand side of the screen. Click the academic calendar for the current year to find the advising dates for that term, then contact Advising and Testing to schedule an appointment. BMCC provides disability services for students who require special accommodations for academic success. Documentation is required to apply for these services. Please contact the Testing and Advising Center at 541-278-5931 for more information or to schedule an appointment. Once you have completed your placement assessments, met with your academic advisor, and have been cleared to register for classes, you are ready to register. How do you register? You will need to log into your Student WolfWeb account, select the term you are registering for, and then select and add your classes. 
Be sure to follow the steps all the way through to confirming your registration. Print a copy of your schedule so that you can be sure that you have completed the full registration process. This schedule will also ser serve as your bill because BMCC does not mail out billings to students. BMCC follows a priority registration schedule. Clarify with your advisor which date you are eligible to register for classes. And, and welcome, welcome to, to BMCC. BMCC.